Hello students, welcome to Mizo study and welcome to my class. Today we are going to discuss the topic that is bond order, how to find the bond order, uh, short trick to find the bond order. Otherwise we have the method that is MOT, molecular orbital theory. We people know how to find the bond order by using the molecular form, uh, molecular orbital theory. So today I am going to discuss that is MOT, this is the case, MOT. we have the formula molecular orbital theory and this theory helps to find the bond order of a molecule or ion bond order will be equal to 1 by 2 and b minus n a we know this formula number of bonding electron and number of anti bonding electron now i am giving you a technique to find the bond order in quick time wait for a moment clear put here table up to 2 4 6 8 10 12 16 18 20 check 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 where is 14 14 then there comes 16 then there comes 18 and finally we have that is 20 is it clear now put like this 1 0 1 0 1 2 3 2 1 0 am i right yes sir this is a table you have to remember this table this is very easy and by using this method you can find the bond order easily without going through the mot and molecular orbital theory suppose if anyone ask you what is the bond order of n2 n2 plus n2 minus o2 o2 plus o2 minus o2 2 minus clear co etc now it's very simple count the number of electron i'm solving the answer n2 the number of electron is 14 this is a 14 electron system in n2 the number of electron is 14 14 electron system now below 14 we have 3 so the bond order in this case will be equal to 3 this is the simple method ok yes now one more thing co plus is exception here we use that is h o m o theory highest occupied molecular orbital theory ok now we have n 2 plus now how many electron it will have that is 13 electron so in this case what is the bond order 13 am i right yes so bond order will be equal to 13 comes between 12 and 14 so bond order will be equal to 2 plus 3 divided by 2 average 2.5 and 2 plus has bond order 2.5 now next one is n2 minus how many electron it has uh, it will have that is uh, 14 1 15 electron system now in this case the bond order will be tell me that is 15 comes below for uh, comes between 14 and 16 so the bond order will be 3 plus 2 divided by 2 that is 5 by 2 that will be equal to 2.5 am i right here look at check the things number count the number of electrons yes now there comes o2 o2 we have a 16 electron o2 the 16 electron system in this case bond order will be tell me bond order 16 comes below uh, below 16 there is 2 so the bond order here is 2 the next uh, next one is we have o2 plus that is we have a 15 electron system 15 electron system so the bond order will be 15 comes between 
14 and 16 that is 3 plus 2 divided by 2 that will be equal to 2.5 this is the bond order of O2 plus yes sir now 16 uh, now there comes O2 minus O2 minus how many electron it has that is 17 electron system yes sir so the bond order in this case will be equal to 17 comes between 16 and 18 2 plus 1 divided by 2 that is 3 by 2 that is equal to 1.5 this is the bond order of O2 minus now moving here the next one is uh, O2 2 minus O2 2 minus this is the 18 electron system okay okay this is the 18 electron system so we have uh, the bond order will be equal to uh, below 18 there is one so bond order is one okay now this is co 8 plus 6 that is 14 electron system so the bond order will be equal to 3 by using this sort technique you can easily find the bond order now the long method suppose if anyone ask you to write down the bond order of n2 by using mot 14 electron system we know the formula yes that is sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 pi 2px pi 2py count 2 to 4 to 6 to 8 9 10 11 and 12 then sigma 2pz2 now count the number total 14 electron uh, we have 2 to 4 to 6 to 8 to 10 to 12 to 14 in this case how to find the bond order that is the bond order will be equal to 1 by 2 we know nb minus na number of bonding electron minus number of anti bonding electron how many electrons we have bonding electron that is we have this is 2 to 4 to 6 to 8 and to 10 and 10 minus number of anti bonding electron tell me that is 2 this is 2 to 4 so put put here 10 minus 4 that is 1 by 2 into 6 that is equal to 3 so the bond order in this case 3 so it's up to you which methods you are going to apply now if anyone ask you how to find the paramagnetic or diamagnetic behavior paramagnetic and diamagnetic if there is a presence if there is a presence of unpaired electron if there is a presence of unpaired electron then it is paramagnetic if no presence that is paired electron that is diamagnetic for example n2 no unpaired electron so we will say that is this is diamagnetic molecule the magnetic molecule clear if there is a presence of unpaired electron then we will say that is paramagnetic now bond order maximum bond order if bond order is directly proportional to bond energy or you can say bond order is directly proportional to bond strength clear yes sir. bond order is inversely proportional to bond length that is maximum the bond order lowest is the bond length maximum the bond order maximum is the bond energy sometimes in competitive examination they generally used to ask this type of questions from this clear now we have hybridization the next method the next topic that is vv theory valence bond theory how to find the hybridization this is a simple one you can easily find wait for a moment now we have the formula hybridization again i'm repeating we have the formula that is hybridization we know 1s 1p sp hybridization 1s 2p sp2 1s 3p sp3 1s 3p 1d sp 3d then 1s 3p 2d then the sp 3d2 and 1s 3p and 3d that is sp3 g3 okay now next one is dsp2 one inner orbital d 1s 2p and d uh, dsp3 okay d2 sp3 also possible this generally we observe in octahedral complexes uh, sp3 uh, 
d2 sp3 and in coordination geometry now if anyone ask you what is the hybridization uh, involved in nh4 uh, ch4 ns3 h2o clear yes sir is very simple method we know x is equal to 1 by 2 number of valence electron of central metal atom number of valence electron of central metal of carbon carbon has valence electron 4 number of monovalent atom attached to the central metal there are four monovalent atom monovalent atoms are only hydrogen fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine so four hydrogen four plus four eight that will be equal to x is equal to one by two into eight x is equal to four four that means to say hybridization is one s and three p one s and three p three plus one four so hybridization in this case that is sp three hybridization now next one is nh3 now again 1 by 2 what is the number of valence electron in nitrogen that is 5 monovalent atom 3 5 plus 3 8 1 by 2 into 8 that is equal to 4 the hybridization is sp3 am i right yes sir you are absolutely right and i'm moving here if anyone ask you to find the bond order of nh4 plus and n and at 2 minus then what will you do in this case yes if there is a presence of plus and minus so x is equal to 1 by 2 number of valence electron nitrogen 5 monovalent atom 4 minus total positive charge only 1 so x is equal to 1 by 2 5 plus 4 minus 1 that is 8 that will be equal to 4 so hybridization here in this case that is sp3 hybridization am i right my friend yes it is absolutely right here now n h2 minus how to find the bond order we know x is equal to 1 by 2 nitrogen has valence electron 5 monovalent atom, atom 2 minus charge on cation no positive charge but there is one negative charge so plus 1 if two negative charge put plus 2 so x will be equal to 1 by 2 5 plus 2 7 plus 1 8 that will be equal to 4 hybridization again in this case that is sp3 okay now we know we have the theory that is whisper theory valence cell electron pair vsepr theory valence cell electron pair repulsion theory this theory gives the complete uh, uh, you can say shape of the molecules because it's considered the uh, electron pair interaction and as per the thing we know lone pair lone pair repulsion is more than lone pair bone pair repulsion and lone pair bone pair repulsion is greater than bone pair bone pair repulsion these are the things suppose if anyone ask you what is the shape of h2o what is the shape of ns3 and what is the shape of ch4 now in this case in h2o central atom is oxygen okay number of valence electron in this case that is six and number of monovalent atom monovalent atom attached to oxygen that is two so total number of uh, electrons total electrons around the central metal atom that is 8 that is total number of electron pair now they are asking electron pair we know pair one pair two electrons so 8 by 2 electron pair is 4 clear now there are only two hydrogen uh, attached to oxygen so number of bond pair will be equal to two only only two monovalent atom so number of bond pair is two so in this case number of lone pair lone pair will be equal to number of bond pair and total number of electron pair minus number of bond pair that is equal to two we know in h2o we symbolize like this this is the case so the formula in this case h2o as per the VSP, vspr theory uh, ab2 e2 or ab2 l2 if the molecule having formula a b 2 l 2 then it will have shape that is v shape similarly you can find the uh, shape of ns3 number of valence electron in this case 5 monovalent atom 3 5 plus 3 8 electron pair that is total number of electron pair 4 number of bp that will be 3 hydrogen atom attached to uh, nitrogen that is 3 and uh, number of lp that is equal to 4 electron pair 4 minus 3 that is equal to 1 so we have the formula for ns3 that is a b 3 l if a molecule having formula a b 3 l then it will have say pyramidal 
similarly you can find the value of uh, you can find the shape of uh, CH4, um, CLF3, uh, uh, IF7, BRF5, PACL5 many more things clear to you these are the few things definitely help you a lot now my friend time has come time to say bye bye thank you so much.